Uh, we have asked you about uh, your uh, advice for the newcomers, but mm -hmm. I, I have the other question. Mm -hmm. What is your advice how to practice for the newcomers? What to do, how much to do it? Not about the attitude, but about how to work. Yeah, your recommendation was to practice it at least two hours a day uh, in, in between the courses. I mean, if you can't manage two hours a day, which some people have kids and all that, it's not necessarily, you know, a, a must. But even like with the praying or, you know, you feeling, you wanting to feel centered, it, it can't be forced. So I, I feel you should just follow yourself and follow your guts and how you, you really feel. If, if today you don't feel like practicing, just don't. If you do and you want to practice five hours, then do it, you know? But I think that if, you, if you're, sometimes we react badly to must. So it's good that you're organized, that you're motivated, that you have your goals, that you want to achieve them, that you want your result or whatever, but you know, don't try to restrict yourself or to impose some kind of lockdown on yourself um, and just follow yourself, follow your guts. What is it? Because I had days when I wanted to practice, but I felt I would be torturing myself if I do. And then I had the other days when it just flew through from me and I was, I couldn't even stop uh, because it was just really good. I was feeling really good. I didn't, didn't want to stop. My body wanted more. Um, it just went on its own naturally. So I just followed myself. And uh, the teacher's question, what are your sensations just now, Andrea? Could you describe your sensations? <laughs> we usually ask this thing. <laughs> I'm very happy, even though it's a rainy day here in Barcelona uh, in June. It's the first day of June, uh, but I feel very, I had a good sleep, so I feel refreshed, uh, calm, centered, um, I feel good, uh, I feel positive and calm um, and I'm probably going to practice uh, this afternoon more, <laughs> especially getting ready for the flight. Um, yeah. Kujan, do you have any questions more? <sighs> Want to be together with a pretty girl, I don't but know. no questions. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any questions, Andrea? Uh, no, I will give it to you for the next class because I'll be practicing and I'll definitely, the more I practice, the more questions I have, I've noticed. Um, yeah. I hope you guys uh, really spread this technique more because it's, it's, totally different than anything else, really. It's so valuable and precious. Yeah. Mm, there is kind of thing that we call a call, that people uh, feel inside some call from mm -hmm. some spiritual things, mm -hmm. some need uh, to study their soul, to investigate their thin part. And so people who are tuned to this sort of call, they mm -hmm. just find us and we share our mm -hmm. techniques. If people are strictly not ready, it's useless yeah. to my mind. Yeah, that's, that's um, well, uh, some kind of, you know, like, uh, uh, like a big, big um, bell inside. Bell? Yeah. Bell? Bell. Mm -hmm. And it's just sounded. Right. Um, I, I think uh, if people truly want to find the truth, eventually they will end up in the right place. And this is how I came to this, to you guys. I, I, I can't even explain it. I don't know how. I, I was researching actually about Slavic uh, mythology. And uh, there is actually um, an archaeologist that was mentioning Russian academies that, uh, that they're very much advanced. And somehow that inspired me and I got to you. Um, and I, I, I really, as I said, for this year, 2020, at least one good thing that happened to me was starting this course, <laughs> regardless of everything else. Do you want to say something for the people who, who want to study at the, at the Institute, but um, hesitate. hesitate or, you know, like uh, a little bit like doubt about it? Okay. 
uh, well, I would tell them to try, you know, uh, I don't know what these people did or, or what are their reasons. I'm sure there are thousands, but if they want to do something good for themselves uh, and they want to find something that's going to free them, that's easy, that has no mass, uh, that's very effective, then I'd say go for it. Uh, and I would advise them to try anyways, because it's a very valuable technique. In my opinion, that will be the future anyways. So, um, well, uh, we hope. Yeah. <laughs> we <yeah>. hope. <laughs> Thank you.